travel internationally is, uh, especially to Europe, is expensive and problematic. Uh, it's hard to get invitations to the competitions. There are, are many complications to it. And when we can have a facility such as this Angelstone facility right here in Canada, it gives our riders a chance to come and compete, get to know how the courses work, get to see how the competition is, and live in that competition, and just get better and better and better. So when the big moment comes, they're ready. And uh, it's, uh, the, this Angelstone facility is going to make a tremendous contribution to that. The footing is probably, if you ask any rider, it's our biggest concern because uh, if we don't have sound, healthy horses, we can't go to the competitions. And this particular ground here, Kian can speak to exactly how it was developed way better than I could, but it is top of the line. It's taken a little time to settle, although when it went in, it was certainly very good. Now I would say it's exceptional. What's tricky about this particular venue is the, uh, the pitch to it, the grade. It has a pretty significant fall uh, down towards this end of the ring. And as a course designer can use that, if you think of yourself walking up a hill, each step doesn't cover as much ground. And it requires a different balance as you, you lean into the hill. Coming down the hill, each stride covers more ground, and we would change our balance to cope for that. And to teach a horse to do that, and to teach a rider, to suggest at the right moment that the horse should do that adds a whole different dimension to it. And the number of course designers we've had here since the ring was created, they all use them a little bit differently and uh, it, it just puts a, a different dimension of, a, of the test. Uh, the, the material here, the jumps that we're jumping are very modern. They're bright, they're, uh, again, these course designers, it's, it's amazing how many wonderful, wonderful course designers there are in the world today. And we have Michel Viancourt this week. I'm a big fan of his. He'll do our Pan American Games. And uh, he's a former team rider, a silver medalist at Bromont uh, in 76, and just does an outstanding job. And again, that helps to educate the riders and the horses. The whole thing moves it forward. So that then when we do go to international competition, we are ready, we just fit in.